right, I want to do a quick video. I don't think people um, quite understand how remarkable this new oscilloscope is. If you, if you have the reason to measure very, very low signals, then the noise of the instrument gets in the way. So if you're trying to measure, you know, 200 microvolts and your measurement equipment is 500 microvolts of noise, you're going to have a hard time. So one of the reasons that oscilloscopes are going to higher and higher bit depth from 8 bits to 12 bits, 14 bits, and 16 bits up and up and up is to help you resolve better. That will lower the noise. And then um, those A to D converters have to be so special, so good. In order to do that, they have to have very, very low noise. So here we're looking at a uh, nothing going into the oscilloscope. It's loaded at 50 ohms. This is the inherent noise of the oscilloscope. And you can see at a 1 gigahertz bandwidth, we're getting about 40, 48 uh, microvolts of noise. The published spec is 50, so this is beating it. Um, that's incredibly low. If we... Uh, Take a look at an oscilloscope that has a lower bandwidth. It will, should have even better performance than at one gigahertz. So when you tell this oscilloscope, put in the um, 350 megahertz bandwidth front end, it can do that in hardware and in software, and the noise lowers to about 30 microvolts. Now, let's compare this 350 megahertz uh, signal with my old, um, old, <laughs> my, my uh, previous uh, Rigel 5000, MSO 5000, which is a really nice oscilloscope. That's like a $3,500 oscilloscope, and it's quite good. But let's, let's look at its noise performance. It is not published by Rigel. It's not in their data sheet, but we can measure it. All right, so sorry about the image quality here, but the Rigol is measuring about 285 microvolts. Um, yeah, a lot, lot, lot more. So um, I know I've heard some complaints about Rigols having noisy front ends, but actually this isn't so bad for 350 megahertz. I don't know exactly what they're talking about. But um, so that's... An apples and apples, 350 megahertz to 350 megahertz. We've got 285 uh, compared to 30. So almost, um, what, 8 to 1, 9 to 1, something like that. So quite a bit better. So let's go and compare some another oscilloscope that I have, which is a 100 uh, megahertz oscilloscope. So here is the uh, Keysight uh, HD3 running at 100 megahertz. And we're getting about 20 and a half microvolts, 20.5 micro, microvolts. Let's take a look at uh, uh, another Keysight product. Uh, this is an older vintage, uh, uh, this is a MegaZoom 4 uh, chip. And at 100 megahertz, this is measuring about 542 microvolts, so quite large. So that Rigel scope is actually doing quite well. It's a much more modern design than this Keysight, but you can see things are just getting better and better with time, and unfortunately better and better with money. Uh, so this is this oscilloscope is probably about a $1,000 oscilloscope, maybe $1,200 oscilloscope, something like that. Um, and uh, we've gone from 540 uh, microvolts to... Uh, 20 microvolts. So yeah, that's a pretty big improvement. So does it get better? Yes, it does get better. At the 50 megahertz bandwidth of the, the HD3, the ADD converter is able to start doing um, interpolation, averaging, whatever you want to call it, and it's adding bit depth. And so even though the root uh, ADD converter is 14 bits by uh, doing these other tricks in hardware and software, uh, you're able to get a full 16 bits. This is when they call their high definition resolution for their oscilloscopes. This is a, now a 16 bit digitization at 50 megahertz. That's, that's insane. 
Um, and we're down here at about 17 uh, microvolts. So again, insane. Um, let's let's take it a factor of 10. Let's go to five megahertz. And and yeah, I don't know what to say. It we're at we're at we're at nine microvolts. Um, and the scope's actually having a hard time triggering on this because the, there's just nothing there. Um, so yeah, this is just absolutely insane. Um, nine microvolts um, at five megahertz. I mean, imagine back in the day. Anyway, I just thought I would uh, show those those data points because I think it's something that people are underestimating about this oscilloscope. It really is a big game changer.